The star mayor from John Quinn's Yorkshire Yard, who went from poverty to riches, will try to become the first British trained horse to win the £2.6 million Hong Kong Sprint. Malton's formidable mare Highfield Princess is prepared to try something no other British trained horse has ever done win one of the most prestigious sprint races in the world. The star of the John Quinn stable who went from poverty to riches will cap off the year on December 10 in the £2.6 million Hong Kong Sprint at Sha Tin. This comes after another successful season in which she won the Prix de la Baie and the King George V stakes at Goodwood. She left her Yorkshire stable yesterday to catch a 13-hour flight to the former British colony where she will be one of only two British-trained runners. British horses have not enjoyed success in any of the four Hong Kong international races since 2012 and never in the 24-year history of the sprint. Yet Quinn will travel full of confidence in six-year-old Heifeld Princess, winner of nearly £1.8 million in prize money having picked Hong Kong over another trip to the Breeders' Cup this year. The trip was confirmed after she rebounded from a shock defeat in the Flying Five at the Curra to land the Abay from one of the worst possible draws. In the 24 years of the sprint, British horses have never won one of the four Hong Kong international races, nor have they done so since 2012. However, Quinn is confident that the six-year-old Highfield Princess, who won nearly £1.8 million in prize money, will go to Hong Kong instead of going to the Breeders' Cup this year. After she overcame a shocking loss in the Flying Five at the Curra to win the Abay from one of the worst possible draws, the trip was officially confirmed. We really wanted to try to have a bash at the Abay this year, which we had avoided last year to go to America, said Quinn. Thus, following the Abay, we decided to give America a chance and make every effort to get her as right as possible for Hong Kong. Until she found her form again, the balls were in the air. The sprint is a six-foot sprint around a right-hand bend against a field that includes Lucky Swenis and Wellington, the winner from the previous year, two local favorites. Quinn remarked, she has no fear whatsoever going six furlongs. She's having a good trip. Over the age of six, she has competed in and won a number of strong races. I ran her once round the bend at Goodwood and she seemed to go very well. She finished third but it wasn't the track. It was blowing a gale that day and you couldn't make the running but she ran a great race. She gave an outstanding performance at last year's Prix Maurice de Geest. She defeated some formidable horses. She was excellent at Goodwood as well, and even though it wasn't a classic abbey, Stall 14 doesn't often produce winners. Overall, she has managed to handle everything. Although Lucky Swainus appears to be a very good horse, Wellington finished behind her in the Jubilee and he hasn't been to Royal Ascot. She is a very good mare in her own right, but there are other horses there about which we don't know much. With her, I couldn't be happier.